Hey YouTube, it's your girl Rachel. If you're interested to see how I went from short to long, please check out this tutorial. Basically, I am just getting my hair prepared to put in the clip-ins. Uh, the only thing on the downside, I guess, would say, and it's not the hair, it's just my hair. So if the wind blows, I didn't put the clip in down low enough. Um, you can kind of see my hair right here. And it's like, wait a minute now. Um, but anyway, I can figure something out with that. When I initially recorded this video, I did not have a specific place where I put the clip-ins, but over wearing them a few times, I've adjusted them and put them in different places where I feel most comfortable with. So the best thing for you to do is, you know, test it out, try it out, and see where you like to wear the clip-ins and how it aligns with your natural hair. I've seen in other videos where girls would tease their roots to place the clip in. I really don't feel like that's necessary. I mean, as long as there's hair there, it can clip and it is pretty secure. Most importantly, when you are wearing your clip-ins, it is so important to make sure that your hair is covering up the track and the clips. We don't want anybody to know our secret to how we got our hair so long. <laughs> For blending, I used my Care Care wax stick and I also flat ironed a little bit to help with the flyaways. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Rachel and I'm coming by with a quick video slash tutorial on this hair that I have in. Right now I am wearing clip-ins, can you believe it? Uh, you guys know I cut my hair um, a few months ago and it's growing out. I'm not trying to grow it out, grow it out, but I was excited when this company contacted me to review their clip-ins. The clip-ins I am wearing are from betterlengths.com and I have one pack of the Coarse Yaki 18 inch clip-in. So one pack truly gives you a complete look. All you need is one pack. And as you can see, girls with shorter hair, you can rock clip-ins too. You have to have a little bit of length, but you don't have to have a whole lot of length like you might already you know you might assume that you need a lot of hair to wear clip-ins I mean I know my hair is up here I did the best I could with blending it I use my care care wax stick I haven't used that in ages so that is helpful with the blending and of course flyaways because we don't want any flyaways and I also use by design essentials the edge control so as you can see, I left a little bit of hair out, you know, of course. I didn't bring the clip in all the way to my edges, and I have my edges slicked back. I just put a bobby pin right here. Not really sure why, because I don't have to have it there. But, um, and I put a little edge control up here. And, of course, I put the Care Care Wax Stick on my, on my own hair just to help with the blending. And, of course, the... They were kind enough to give me a discount code, so I will definitely have that below. This is a short video. I'm running short on time because I'm supposed to be somewhere. And thank you guys for watching. Please check me out soon on my next video. If you missed my last video, it was a side part. Quick weave, I decided to take that hair out only because it didn't work out for me, so I took the hair out. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll check you guys out soon. Peace. Me and Bella about to bounce. Right, Bella? You know she's in my lap. Peace.